Check it out, it's such a fucking cash cow, right? They can't afford to have it fucking fall and collapse, right? So they're trying to, they're trying to build it up, right? I said to a, a woman in the shop, right? 20, she told me 20 euros, like, you know, like 20 euros is nothing, like, you know? And I said to her, have you ever been in there? Have you ever been in here? And she's like, no, speak English. No, speak English. Yeah, of course she don't speak fucking English. She speaks euros, though. But you know, it's so grand for the tourists to come and spend 20 fucking euros to see that rubbish. But like, they don't fucking go in there and spend 20 fucking euros. But like, it's been here for thousands of years and now they're trying to save it. Now, what the fuck like? You know what I mean? They had plenty of time to fucking do something with it. Now they're trying to do something with it because then the tourists won't come. They won't be able to charge them. Have them, you know, overcharge your restaurants and the fucking hotels or whatever. If it wasn't for the Mediterranean and this fucking Acropolis, they'd have nothing. Absolutely nothing. So yeah, it's something to think about. Check it out! I guess it's rush hour traffic, yeah? We're zooming around the uh, ancient artifacts. That's the Acropolis up there. And uh, more shit up there, and then I'm gonna go that way. So, yeah. Ancient history 101. Asian food. <clears throat> Back to Ireland in less than 24 hours, so you won't be getting any, anything as adventurous as that in Ireland. No. Maybe, maybe a restaurant. The, that. Anyway, I just have an Asian street food place. Fantastic. And um, I met this German girl this morning, Hostel, who hates traveling. She was only here to meet her grandmother, no, her auntie, who was here in Holly for one month. She thought one month was crazy because, you know, she hates traveling. So, I try to think it's funny because her friend, her friend wanted to, she wanted to ask her friend to come with her, but her friend hates traveling too. So, her friend didn't want to come with her. So, two German chicks who don't like traveling. I think they're only fucking German chicks in the whole fucking place. Who don't like traveling because everyone else from Germany just love it. 
And I was telling you about that Johan guy from, uh, from this fucking uh, or band. He's the big punk rock, but he's the most calm. Ask him a question, like, wait two seconds and be like, yeah. You, Johan. So that was quite funny, so. And then she, she found that funny, you know, oh, she's very serious. Serious, very serious. Anyway, that's it. That's all I want to tell you. I met a German girl who doesn't like traveling. Wow. It's a picture of the Virgin Mary and the baby. She was 14 when she had that baby, so she looks pretty old there. Maybe it was the times they, that they lived in, you know. Can, can, things can age you, you know. When you're 14 and you look in your 30s. So it's quite interesting, isn't it? Crazy religion. Endorsing fucking pedophilia. Your God's a rapist. There you go. Christianity. It's made me who I am today. Bad hair day number one. So, I found a Croatia guy last night. He, he, I asked him what he did or something. He said he works in the mines. I like mining companies and stuff. He goes, no, just taking up, taking up landmines in Croatia. Apparently in Bosnia in Croatia there's lots of landmines. And it's another 12 years of work to take away all the fucking mines that they put down. Because I was in Cambodia and all the mines that they were putting down came from Hungary, England and America. So they were, set, they were setting landmines to fucking dictators and crazy people, putting them down, people were dying. But as long as they made money, they didn't give a shit. Um, so any of his job is basically get, get taking out these mines. So I was talking to him for a while. And it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting because his ideas he's telling me about like he, he maybe, you know, if he ever wanted to have kids, he wanted to have basically his own room in the house so he could do his own thing. And he was telling me like, you know, if if she wants to go visit her parents and I want to go to Spain, I want to go to Spain. I don't have to fucking go home at night time and watch the TV with some other person. And it's quite interesting, I think, because that's actually reflective of what actually really happens in life. So... So he was telling me what he, he wants out of life and right now he's 40 like me. For now he just wants to live his life and uh, not, not defy conventions and not, and not give in to the, uh, the stereotypes of what, what you're supposed to do. It's quite interesting. Because I agree. Um. Okay. Oh, I, I stood in the, uh, the cleaner woman's floor. Shouldn't have done that. So this is the uh, this is the view from the hostel. Nice, huh? You can see the Acropolis up here. In the sunshine. I was bitching about it yesterday, but it's 20 euros, pretty much. So today is the last day. Come back to Ireland. This is the. Uh, this is for the video for the anarchist uh, stuff I went to yesterday. I went to the anarchist uh, area where there's lots of graffiti and shit. So that was quite cool. Quite cool. Uh, what else to report? Not much. We pushed the button and ended here. And.